Hello again everyone. In this video we'll be building a very simple and cheap vacuum chamber from parts you can buy at Lowe's or some other hardware store. We'll be using the vacuum chamber in a future video. Here are the items you'll need. A PVC adapter. This one's for connecting PVC pipe to cast iron pipe. You'll need two 6 inch by 6 inch by 1 8 inch rubber packing sheets. These are found in the plumbing section. A hose barb adapter that fits the hose you wish to use on your vacuum pump. Two sheets of 8 by 10 inch Lexan plastic. This is sold where the glass sheets are sold. Begin by drilling a hole in the side of the adapter to allow you to screw in the hose barb. You're welcome to thread the hole if you wish. Use Teflon tape on the hose barb and screw it in. It should look something like this when you're done. Now take one of the rubber sheets and place it on a flat surface. Place the adapter on top and using a marker, mark off the inside diameter of the adapter. Then remove the adapter and observe the marking. If it is centered, then proceed to cutting out the middle. This step is optional for the bottom sheet. However, I did both so I could see all the way through the chamber. Before we can put this all together, you may want to use some 600 grit sandpaper and smooth out any flashing on the rim of the adapter from when it was molded. You may find that you do not need to do this, however I found it necessary if I wish to store the vacuum for any length of time. Alright, we're done preparing all the parts so let's put it together. Start by laying down one sheet of the Lexan plastic. You can leave on the protective layer if you like. Now lay down a sheet of the rubber then the adapter. Now place in the item you wish to have the vacuum act upon in the vacuum chamber. Then add on the next sheet of rubber and then the last sheet of Lexan. Finally attach your vacuum source and begin pumping out the air. You'll notice that the Lexan will distort and cave in slightly. This is to be expected for this sheet thickness. Thicker sheets will cave in less. I've been running this for some time and have never had a sheet of the Lexan shatter. However, for safety purposes, I wear safety glasses and protection in case one ever does. The total cost for this chamber is $20.75. I'm using regular air hose to connect my chamber to my vacuum source. My vacuum source is a 3CFM two-stage rotary vane vacuum pump made by US General model 66 Four six six, bought from Harbor Freight for $150. It's capable of reaching 25 microns. While other vacuum chamber designs exist, I decided on this one because you can build the chamber around some item without disturbing it. Something we'll be taking advantage of in a later video. Thanks for watching.